Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to talk about KGY moments. I have been taking lectures on basic stability. This is to help a mariner, whether it is from deck side or engineering side. He has to learn stability. So, how in a systematic manner he should learn the various things of uh, uh, basic stability. That is the idea. In my last video, I had talked about effect of loading and discharging of a weight or shifting of a weight. When we cause a shift, there is a shift of center of gravity of the ship parallel and proportional. And when we load the weight, the center of gravity moves towards the point of loading and reverse happens when we discharge the weight. Center of gravity moves in an opposite direction. Now, on board ship, when we load the cargo, when we uh, discharge the cargo, when we sometimes shift the ballast, we fill up the fresh water, we take the bunkers, etc. We do a lot of loading, discharging and shifting on board ship. So with every uh, uh, loading or with every discharging, we cannot apply the formula that shift of G is equal to W into D divided by displacement. It will be uh, extremely complicated, you know, and difficult to uh, do the calculation. So, what we do on board ship? A single sheet of calculations will give you kg by moments, right? So, there is a sheet which has the weights, which has the uh, position of that weight with respect to the keel, and then we take vertical moment. Vertical moment is weight multiplied by the individual kg that is what height the cargo what height that weight is with respect to the keel every uh, small or big weight that is loaded on the ship and similarly in case we are discharging something then we also take the moment but that would be negative and in the end in the end for all the loadings and all the dischargings and all the shiftings that is done in vertical direction so this way we find out individual vertical moment for each and every weight that is loaded discharged or shifted and then the grand total is divided by the final displacement to give the final kg this kg is kg solid right and with this displacement when we enter the hydrostatic tables we can find out what is the km and km minus kg will give you the gm of the vessel this is called metacentric height but this is gm solid we have not yet applied the free surface correction now what is uh, free surface moment what is moment of inertia we will see afterwards but at the moment just understand that uh, every tank that is not completely full or empty will cause free surface effect we are able to get a free surface moment for each and every tank that we want the total of all the free surface moments you know total of all the free surface moments divided by displacement is the free surface correction that will have to be applied to solid GM to get fluid GM. Effectively, if we have to find out what is the list or we have to do uh, various calculations, we uh, apply the fluid GM. Right then, let us do a simple sample calculation to find out what is this now let us do a simple and a sample calculation to understand kg by weight. Let us say uh, there is a ship whose light weight is uh, 8000 tons, right? And uh, there are a few loadings which took place on the ship. For example, we loaded uh, say uh, 4000 tons at a kg of 5 meters, right? And we also loaded uh, 600 tons at a kg of 7 meters. We discharged 900 tons at a kg of uh, 10 meters. And then uh, we shifted vertically shifted downwards a uh, weight of 50 tons through uh, 7 meters. So these are the operations we carried out, you know, and uh, uh, let us see what 
is the resultant kg. The kg of the light ship is suppose 6.9 meters. So in doing the calculations, what we do is we make the several columns. The first column is the weights that is in ton and then we have kg which is in meters and then we have vertical moments that is in ton meter. So 8000 in the next column we have kg that is 6.9 and then this would be considered as positive over here also I put a sign of plus and then we add 4000 tons at a kg of 5 meters this gives me 20,000 then we add 600 tons at a kg of 7 meters this also has a plus sign and then there is a discharge so there will be a negative sign over here that is 900 tons at a kg of 10 meters so this becomes 9000 with a negative sign now uh, we are shifting a weight downwards that means if you look at the ship you know there is a weight that is being shifted downwards and mind you these moments which we are taking we are taking the moments about the key so when we shift a weight downwards the product of weight multiplied by kg would reduce because the distance from the keel is reducing so please remember in uh, this kg by moment table if we shift the weight downwards you know we are reducing the moment we are reducing the moment uh, and that reduction would depend on the amount of shift so what we are doing is we are shifting a weight of 50 tons downwards we are not loading we are not discharging we are only shifting so since we are only shifting I will neither put a positive here nor put a negative here because we are not adding or uh, um, deducting the weights from the ship but what happens is the moment is changed and the moment is changed by 350 and because we are shifting towards the keel the moments would reduce so I put a negative sign here so this is how I uh, do the calculation this would be uh, 6.9 multiplied by 8 gives me 55,200 plus 20,000 plus 4200 minus 9 minus 350 gives me 70050 so over here I have 8000 plus 4000 12000 12600 12,600 minus 900. So over here I have 12,600 minus 900. Gives me 11,700. 11,700. Now the final kg would be 70050 divided by 11,700. This gives me 5.987. Five point nine eight seven is the resultant kg. We sometimes can call this kg as solid kg. Suppose there were uh, uh, certain tanks with the free surface effect, and if uh, the free surface moment of all those tanks was added up, total free surface moment was suppose three thousand tons meter, right? Then the free surface correction would be free surface correction would be free surface moment divided by displacement so it would be 3000 divided by 11700 
gives me 0 0.256 0 0.256 and let us say for this displacement when we enter the hydrostatic table the km when we are looking for km the km is suppose let's say uh, the km is suppose uh, 9.200 meters so 9.2 minus 5.987 would be 3.213 this would be GM solid now uh, this GM solid that is 3.213 3.213 minus free surface correction 0.256 will give me fluid GM that is 2.957 2.957 is GM so this is how we do the KC by moment calculation whether you have one or several weights that are loaded whether you discharge one weight or several weights or uh, whether you do one shift or several shift all the loading discharging and shifting can be taken care by a single sheet you know and that sheet is called KC by moments Thank you.